guys, first of all, don't forget to subscribe on Freeride's YouTube channel there, I think. <laughs> Ole, I tried to ski the K2 Reckoner. Yes, how was it? Uh, very good. Uh, I'm a bit surprised because I the expectation was maybe not sky high, uh, but I think it was a good ski, yes. Tell me more, it was a good ski, what was good? <laughs> All right, so it was very playful and like very soft in tip and tail, but still the ice grip, because we've been talking about uh, this a lot today, it's very icy, uh, but they worked super good on the ice and you can see like do some, some short turns, some bigger turns and it worked like proper whatever you did with the ski it worked pretty good so I'm, I'm very happy nice. how wide is it underfoot you this know is the 102 and I think it comes in a 112 as well okay so rating for K2 Reckoner uh, some might say it doesn't look too good but I don't care because it was a good ski so I would give it a the first five out today yes yes first five for you second total today Yes, Johan, you also tried K2 Reckoner. How was the ski? It was uh, it was fairly good ski. Uh, first of all, I really enjoy the matching of my jacket. Uh, but That's very important. Yeah, it is. But I have to say, I can't. I'm not. I can't agree with Ule that uh, it's it gets as much as five. It might be because I'm not a. I haven't like skied alpine skiing in my youth, etc. But I had a hard time with getting into the turn on the ski. I felt it a bit slow going from edge, edge to edge. So, so I, I think it was fun. Despite that, it was really fun ski when being in the carving turn and exiting the turn. I enjoyed it. But it was more getting from the edge to edge. I had more difficulties with with, with, with this ski. Right. So, how would you rate this? I would give it a. Sorry, Ole, but uh, I'll give it a three and a half, actually. Okay. <laughs> Five and three and a half. Yeah, but uh, I guess we're different skiers. Yeah, exactly. I hope different that. Different type of skier, so. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Moa, K2 Reckoner. What do you think? I'm uh, surprised. It's good. Uh, it's a uh, really good on mountain ski. Like, you, I think you could have fun with this ski uh, every day, more or less. Uh, so I like it. So how is the condition up in the slope right now? We have eaten lunch, so... Yeah, it's uh, still a bit uh, icy and hard, uh, but it's getting softer, but still very hard. And I think this ski does it really good. Like you have the good... Uh, it's good grip, like you can... You have uh, the entire turn. Uh, you can, you're like, the edge is there, you know it is there. Uh, so I, I trust this ski. Right, so uh, what great thing? Uh, a strong fort. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. All right, K2 Reconair 184 centimeters. What type of ski is this? Uh, I think it's an all round ski. Very good if you just want one uh, pair of skis with you to uh, when you're going skiing for like all type of conditions. And it is uh, quite uh, like easy and playful, uh, but sometimes I perhaps had a little bit of problems like sticking it really much on the edge. Uh, but uh, it's a good all-round ski, I would say. But it's still really hard up there, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard up there. So that's uh, yeah because it is a little bit more playful all-round ski. So perhaps the conditions aren't in perfect uh, alignment with the, the structure of the ski, so to say. Okay, so how would you rate it? Uh, I would say uh, four. All right, we're standing here with Warner Nickerson, straight from America. <laughs> Tell me about this ski, K2 Reckoner. Yeah, of course. So what I've got right here is the K2 Reckoner. This is the uh, the 102 underfoot, 184. Um, one of the favorites, I'd say. So. The big difference this Reckoner is a new ski. Uh, the big difference between this and the Mindbender is that the Mindbender has the Tetanol in it here. It's like a Y shape down at the bottom. It's like an I-beam and then comes up all the way through here and then splits. And the Tetanol is really good for for dampening, like, like the vibration, the slower vibration, not the super high frequency stuff. Um, and 
it's it makes the ski you know more strong and powerful and the cool thing about these is that a lot of riders really prefer this because it's got a little bit of a twin tip going on here um, so people are kind of more used to it it's got a more center mounting point so you can kind of butter the top a little bit um, especially in powder we were testing these in New Zealand this summer um, in Craggy Burn and then Temple Basin these fucking super yeah, cool it's not so much powder here today <laughs> yeah, no no not at all but is it is it a good park ski also you would say um, so honestly, like I'm not going to say it's a good park ski because <laughs> I cannot ski park. But the guys that ski this do ski it in the park. All right. cool. Not so much rocker on this one. What do you think of that? Yeah, so for me, like I prefer not too much rocker. The, the, the thicker ones, like the one, I think it's the 116 and then the 108, like they have more and more progressive rocker because it's more for powder. Um, but these don't have that much. I'm a racer, man. <laughs> like I don't like I don't like too much rocker. I can see that. Okay, thank you so much, Warner. <laughs> awesome. Nice to see you, man. Yeah. <laughs>